parents, when it comes to disciplining kids, positive reinforcement, it may be better than negative. That's according to a new study out of right here, Michigan State. Dina Sidafani explains. Working for your health, how many parents or caretakers are spanking their kids? Interesting new research to share from you and what we can learn from it. Michigan State University researchers wanted to know just how often do parents or caregivers resort to spanking to discipline? Well, the researchers covertly camped out to study parents and their kids in public places. They found that nearly one in four parents settled disputes with their child by hitting, spanking, or some sort of physical contact, you know, an arm grab or a pinch. But they found that the kids disciplined with positive touch, like hugging or gentle patting, or maybe a little tickling to diffuse the situation, were more likely to comply than those punished by negative touch. And listen to this, men were more likely to engage in that positive touch. So whether you're pro or anti-spanking, the experts at WebMD have a few tips for encouraging good behavior from your kids. First, be clear about the consequences of bad behavior. Like if you choose to hit your sister, you will lose video game privileges tonight. Next, be respectful. In other words, behave the way you want your child to behave. Don't have a meltdown yourself. Finally, be consistent. Any technique will fail if you don't follow through by enforcing those consequences. It's not an easy job. Working for your health, I'm Dina Santafonte. See, my parents, they just had to give me that look at the grocery store to let me know that I was cutting up. That, that little look, let me know. I'm going to get it when I get home. And that was, I was good. It was good from that point on. That's all parents need to do.